Hello Gemini and welcome to my spiritual oasis here weary souls come to find inner wisdom and peace. We are doing your Ears of Life reading today where we are looking at um, the overall energy for your month ahead and determining what our focus for you is going to be this month. So as I shuffle out your guiding energy, I would love to invite you to join the Kindred family if we are not already connected here on YouTube by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Clicking like on this video, of course, supports my channel. I do appreciate that. Drop a comment down below. Let me know if something resonated with you today in the reading. If you're interested in your own personal reading, you can connect with me on Etsy. Link is in the description below. I curate all kinds of content on my Etsy shop to assist you and other beautiful kindred souls like you on your spiritual path and purpose. So check that out if you're feeling moved to do that. Guiding energy for you this month is chilly Ooh, okay it's a hot fiery energy for you today stimulation is the key word it's connected to aries energy and our 18 is reducing down to the number nine so potentially some sort of change transition is happening here change transition transformation Ooh, spicy let's see what's going on let's start with love Love for Gemini, I'm at the head. Again, this is love in all its ways, shapes, and forms. Self-love, familial love, romantic love, emotional wellness, passion, interests, creativity, excitement, all of that. Chariots, okay. Some movement, interesting. Let's look at pursuits, career, business, work, school. Okay. The devil. Let's look at partnerships, the blending of energies within yourself with another person or in another entity. So we have temperance. Wealth, blessings, abundance, possessions. Okay. Okay. Let's look at happiness, measure. Okay. Didn't even let me. Uh, we have the Queen of Wands there in that happiness zone. Let's look at success, the measure of accomplishment, purpose, mark, achievement, or resting. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, all right, Gemini. Very, very interesting reading for you. So your focus for the month is on stimulation. What what are we stimulating? Just life in general is what I'm feeling. Um if you are a very goal-oriented person, very active individual, I feel like you're cooling your heels. You know, you're you're chilling out in the partnership zone. You're not you're not really pursuing that. You're kind of you're maintaining. So if you're in a relationship, you're maintaining it. If you're not in a relationship, you're maintaining yourself. Um you're just focused on that balance and harmony. Um you're measuring your success by what makes your mind what puts your mind at rest. What puts your mind at rest? Um, potentially some decisions or movement in the love zone. We're measuring our happiness by the uh, nurture and nourishment of our, you know, the seed of our passions. You don't seem too concerned about the wealth zone. I feel like you're like, if I am happy, grounded, and, and my passions are grounding me, I will be fine. So this does, I don't feel like you're concerned about your wealth zone. But we do have an elephant in this room, don't we? We have the devil in our pursuits. So the first message that came to mind for me is that your pursuit section, so business, career, your job, is feels like it's your uh, it's a crutch for you you maybe you overwork you define yourself by the success in your career 
And I feel like that's kind of wearing on you. And you're kind of to a point where you're like, this isn't fulfilling me. I need something else to stimulate me. I need something is missing is what it feels like. Um, the devil could also be saying you might have some fear in your pursuits zone as well. Like maybe you don't feel like you can achieve what you're going after. And there's a lot of like mental warfare going on as far as your ability to um, produce. You could also have Capricorn in your chart um, as well. And if you do, I feel like there's a message on using that using that energy to assist you in the in the workspace in the work zone um i feel like other vices as well could get in the way of your success and career or you're just afraid you're afraid of something getting in the way of your success in your career and i feel like the message is that Following your passion and per following your passion, nurturing the passion, nurturing the seed of your passion, being grounded in your passions, working towards them every day. I feel like it's going to bring you peace and prosperity. But I feel like there's a decision that needs to be made on the direction that you're going to go in that light. Um... So I feel like our deep dive for you, the month to come, is going to be on what direction are we going? I feel like the the love is connected. Um, where, what, what direction are we going that is going to bring us peace, mental peace specifically, um, and is going to allow us that something that we, we want to nurture and nourish that's connected to our passions. Um, that's what I feel like we're going to be looking at here um, for you. What stimulates us? What activates um, our heart space and our, and our passion and our desire to put our energy into something? What is that? And how do we get on that journey? How do we quiet those demons um, and those fears inside of ourselves and overcome that? Um, yeah. Yeah. And I also feel like the the temperance and the partnerships could be like you're you are looking for and only interested in relationships that are balanced, that are um, holistic and, and and grounding and um, peaceful. That is stimulating to you. None of the craziness. None of you know. None of the wild, crazy, um, tumultuous energy in that partnership zone. So my beautiful Geminis, these are the messages I have channeled for you today. I hope this was helpful. If something resonated, do drop a comment down below. Click like, subscribe, and I'll see you in an upcoming message. Bye.